Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to clone an element using jQuery. In addition to moving elements, you can copy them from one place to another. jQuery has a function called clone that makes a copy of an element. For example, if we wanted to copy target2 from our left well to our right well, we would use target2.clone.append to the right well. Did you notice that this involves sticking two jQuery functions together? This is called function chaining, and it's a convenient way to get things done with jQuery. So we want to clone target5 and append it to our left well. Okay, so clone target5 and append it to our left well. Um, let's take, first off, we're going to get the ID of target5, and we're going to go dot clone, and we're going to append that our uh, left well and now target 5 is going to be here and here and we want to make sure we append to the ID of our left wall the left well ID left well cool left well target 5 and it doesn't seem to be working target 5 dot clone ah I need to actually initiate the function right there dot clone target 5 T-A-R G-E-T. Target 5. Okay, cool. And now you see we've got target 5 here and there. So target 5.clone. So we could we could break this. Um, this one will probably pass the tests. So if you're just trying to bang through these really quickly, this is the way you do it. Um, let's see here. How can we make this a little bit clearer on exactly what's happening here? Um, let's say we could say let uh, target 5.clone uh, is equal to this guy, right? And then we could say uh, target 5 clone append to left well and this will work the exact same way but now we could use it again to figure out what is what target 5 clone looks like uh, clone so if we console log it here we can see this is the button uh, it's got a length of one that's an individual button and it's got this previous object object inside of it um, yeah so this is a, a clone target 5 is not the same as I mean, it's a clone, so, uh, you know, this would just be another way that you could write it if you didn't want to chain things together. You could assign it to a variable and then append it to the left well. Uh, it works the same, but it's a little bit different. It is important to realize that you can chain things together, though, so it makes sense to do this one uh, like this, just because uh, you might not be super familiar with chaining uh, functions together, but that's a good thing to learn how to do. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, it's not working now. I'm just going to reload it because sometimes this JavaScript just needs to be wrote. A copy of your target 5 element should also be inside your left well. Oh, I f did that. Okay, got it. Okay, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.